Namaste. Hope all are doing fine. Welcome to Subhu's Launch Talk. Today I am going to talk about Vishu and what we can learn or the significance of Vishu. Vishu is celebrated as a New Year Day for Tamils, especially Kerala Tamils. Tamils who are migrated from Tanjavur long long time back and settled in Palakkad and various districts of Kerala. On this day, celebrate the New Year Day. Vishu Kani is kept before God. Now, what is Vishu Kani? Vishu Kani means a mirror is placed, rice, cereals, fruits, vegetables, gold, rupees, all these are placed decoratively in the before a God for the God pictures and then early in the morning before sunrise each one is brought to the altar the first thing they have been asked to do is to look at the mirror and see yourself see oneself this is unique to this particular festival which is called Vishu Vishu comes from the word Vishwam. Vishwam means seen everywhere. You see the same everywhere, present everywhere. Vishwarubam means you see everywhere. It's a Vishwa, one who is present in everywhere. Now, what is it that is present everywhere? What is present in everywhere is what you see in the mirror. Now what do you see in the mirror? You see your own face. Now what does seeing your own face do with everybody or even to the particular person? Seeing your own face is a way of telling to see the divinity within you, the divinity, the divine flame within you and the divine flame that is within you is prevalent in everybody. That flame is prevalent in everybody though each one has a different Nama and Rupa. Nama and Rupa means name and form. The entire Vishwa is full of different Nama and Rupa, yet there is one commonality that is one may call it as Atma or and within that Atma you are a particular Atma and within the Atma you see the divinity. You will ask me what is divinity. The question comes, what is divinity? And this particular video, I will try to explain the terms or what one can understand by divinity. That which you have to search within yourself. Now, when we say divinity, it is about certain divine qualities. Divine qualities means qualities which the divine has. Such qualities that divine has, it is searching for those qualities within you. Now, what are those divine qualities? 
दीज क्वालिटीज कन्वर्ट अ मानव इंटू माधव मैन बिकम्स माधव द डिवाइन डिवाइन डिविनिटी डिवाइन एंड नॉट दानव दानव मीन डेमन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मैन एंड एनिमल इज मैन कैन सर्च फॉर डिविनिटी बिकॉज ऑफ हिज पावर ऑफ discrimination and analysis because he can because he has got a mind i'll come to that mind rather i would say intellect i'll come to that what is intellect and thing right now you understand we are man and animal are differentiated only with the power of discrimination or intellect man animal also has food animal also has sleep man also has wants food man also sleeps but there is an extra quality in man in human beings who can make an effort to find the divine qualities within themselves and that is why you see the mirror which reminds you that you search for the divine quality within you or you tap into the divine quality within you rather you don't even have to search it is already there within you you just have to tap it just tap it something like the body is like a house and within the house the electrical contractor gives all the wiring the uh, to so that you can use various equipments uh, to uh, and uh, lighting etc so these wirings go to your geysers to your fridges to tv to tube lights to fans so it, the, the electrical contractor has given all those wiring now just by giving these wires can you can you see the tv will your fridge work will your fans rotate will your mixer rotate no so what is it that makes it rotate when the master in the house presses the switch then if he wants a tv to start he presses that switch of the tv and the tv starts he presses the button the switch for fan and the fan starts he presses the switch for mixi the mixi starts now what is it to do with our explanation similarly within every human being god has already wired us there is already the wiring is done within the body uh, you have the current flows the current is flowing or the current is there it is an invisible current just like in a house when you switch off the fan switch on the fan the 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 invisible current starts flowing you can't see the current but you can see the fan rotate similarly within our body it has already come wired we have already come into this world wired at the same time god has given a switch that is called the intellect or the mind mind is a switch intellect is your is yourself who switches on that who presses the switch to get the current to get the required current or the required so this is the, the, the this is where the importance of self looking at the mirror comes it is the master the intellect in the master to switch on the divine buttons and get the divine qualities you switch on the wrong button you will get the wrong qualities you switch on the right button you will get divine qualities now i will tell you what are the divine qualities some of the divine qualities 
so the importance of the that intellect and the gift of intellect that everyone possesses is the is the power within you to switch the right buttons so th that's why in vishu the first thing you see is yourself in the mirror that you have the power to switch on the right buttons to get the divine qualities now we will now we'll come to what are the divine qualities that we want to switch in the first and foremost if you look at the divine quality is fearlessness you will not find any god who is especially the hindu way of life rama krishna hanuman perumal take any god ganapati kartikeya ayappa they are all fearless fearlessness without fear they have no fear that is one of the divine qualities of you, you won't find a fearful god you can find a fearful man but you will not find a fearful god take for example krishna the moment he was born his mama wanted to kill him nanda came in at the at that at, at that at that time krishna was born and his mama was told that a girl is born so the comes this mama kamsa wanted to kill only boys and and the eighth child was told it was a girl so the mom kamsa felt okay the eighth child will not kill me as per as per the forecast the eighth child was to kill kamsa eight child boy so he, so he killed he put both his sister and brother in law in the jail and whenever they gave birth to a child he kept on killing if it is a boy and when the eighth child came nanda ke nanda the small child uh, girl child was placed and vasudev took krishna to a safe place and while he was going he had to cross the yamuna river and as he crossed the yamuna river the waters of the yamuna kept rising due to flood due to heavy rains and the moment it touched the toe of the child the tide subsided subsided the fearlessness of krishna started from there later on his mother yashoda tied him with a on a drum in between two trees and after the mother went krishna walked in between the two trees and the two trees fell all were shocked but this little boy was able to break two trees and walk through it walk through that same thing then his kamsa sister putana putanaka tried to breastfeed him with poison he killed her so at every step at every step of krishna he was fearless he, he there was they had a pond and there was this uh, serpent poisonous serpent and krishna jumped into it fought with that serpent and sat on its head and played flute small boy that is the that is the power of fearlessness which krishna had so the first divine quality that you search for yourself is fearlessness which means you can do anything if you just have that quality and here we are take my example moment i sit in the flight i get butterflies in the stomach as it takes off i'm never confident the flight will take off smoothly and i'm never confident it will land smoothly in one of the long flights when i came from one of the trips from thailand the flight was cruising and all of a sudden some storm something and the and the aircraft dipped suddenly it dipped suddenly for a moment just for a moment pasina nikal gaya do the do the big cabin was cabin was uh, air conditioned 
that jolt it couldn't even that jolt was so fearful it was a normal procedure for the aircraft to come down or probably that pilot just took it down so that you know that winds and all whatever that only he knows what he did you for example you want to catch a train especially the outstation train and even if there is some 10 15 minutes i run on the platform as if this train will if this train the entire my life is depending on catching this train har cheez mein hamare andar dar hai har cheez mein dar aisa koi cheez nahi hai jisme dar nahi hai but once you tap on to that divine qualities you will understand the fearlessness as an is something which which needs to be tapped lord ayappa his mother actually was an adopted child of the king his mother wanted her own son to become a king and when uh, she played uh, she told the she uh, she called her the her uh, uh, doc doctor and the doctor was told that you ask ayappa to bring tiger's milk ayappa was a young youth and he was asked to bring tiger's milk to save his mother and what did ayappa do he brought a gang of tigers pura leke aaya 10 15 tiger ko leke aaya all got shocked ye how did this young boy going into the forest and bringing a horde of tiger abhi kaun sa bhi tiger se tum doodh nikalo jisse bhi nikal tum maine tiger leke aa gaya that is that is that the, that is the divine quality of fearlessness you can take it you study any story of any god any anything any thing you will understand how daring they were how daring they were so the first quality is fearlessness the second quality divine quality is compassion no god you will find thinks only about himself sirf apne bare mein sochte hai unko koi bhagwan nahi milega at least in our in the hindu way of life krishna when indra poured rain to destroy a particular that yadava community because somebody insulted him in that in his yadava community krishna created a hava sorry indra created hava indra is the rain god barsa diya so much of rain normal se 10 times jyada and what krishna did krishna lifted the entire govardhan mountain on his little finger sabko bacha hai chala ja tu tu dar mat main uta leta hu i will carry uh, this one little finger is enough for me to lift the govardhan mountain indra after seeing that fell uh, asked forgiveness from krishna that is the compassion level of that is the com- divine quality of compassion the, the, the sabari had there's a story of rama where sabari was in the form of a stone she was cursed and she was in a particular place a stone and she was told that when rama places his feet on the stone she will come alive and something similar happened when uh, uh, during his trail rama rama touched his feet on the stone and sabari got life again and that sabari started giving some bear some bear where she tasted and she was giving to ram lakshman got very angry saying that why you are doing this to this particular particular uh, lady she is juta kar rahi hai she is is eating and giving you but rama said you are looking it as juta but i am looking at her love towards me that each and every bear which she is giving me has to be tasty she is tasting first and then giving it to me this video will be slightly long but i think it is worth it uh, as an something which will correlate with the vishu part of unique part of seeing oneself in the mirror and what you what is it that you want to tap 
similar is the case of krishna's friend he krishna was living in a big palace and his friend came there with some chota ek one bowl of khichdi or some small quantity and he came, when he was when he was shown the krishna's palace he himself felt are my friend has become so big uh, how can i carry this small khichdi to him it says it's some three four grains yet krishna saw him from the palace and came running towards him embraced him and you know what this guy out of lajja what is called he didn't want to even show what he has brought for krishna usko ye ho gaya embarrassed ho gaya wo but krishna told him i know you have brought something for me please give me that and his friend showed him that bowl and krishna deliciously kept eating what he gave provided and when he went back and his friend went back he found a equally big palace made for him itna bada palace usko bhi mil gaya there is a level of compassion they don't discriminate between rich poor this that discriminate nahi karte they don't they don't do all these things for them all are same sabke andar ek hi atma hai all are divine for them all need need all everybody will pro, will be given equal grace whether you are rich or poor that is a level of compassion they they all they live for others and krishna says that you know i have come to this world not for my sake i have come to this world because i see a dharma going up i want to bring that bring it back bring my own people back into the right path dharma dharma is right path sambhavami yuge yuge dharma sanstha panarthaya sambhavami yuge yuge dharma sanstha panarthaya means whenever dharma is under peril i will come on this earth to restore it because my devotees who follow the path of dharma should not be overtaken by adharma should not be defeated by adharma for the sake of this dharmic people i will come for the sake of this people i will come is is entire uh, yadavs and they were simple people kali cowards gai gai ka chara karte the so simple people krishna comes so the second quality of divine quality is compassion the third quality is meeting challenges finding solutions to problems how do they find solutions to the problems meeting challenges like hanuman was sent to lanka to spot reki karne ko ja reki ja reki kar ke just surveillance mary sita and all he has not even seen sita he doesn't know what which place is where in lanka he doesn't have a map that he can go through this way. gps vps nahi tha uske paas uske paas sirf ram ka naam tha and uske paas ek ek lakshya tha ki i have to somehow spot sita and tell her that help is on the way divine well one of the divine qualities meet challenges irrespective of whatever is whatever may be the hurdles or whatever may be the obstacles meet it challenge like like a jara sanda he wanted to burn the entire mathura krishna knowing the ferocity of jara sanda evacuated the entire people from jara sanda even before he came and he took them to dwarka So let's all go to Dwarka now, before this man comes. But Jara Sanda wanted to was so angry. He wanted to find Krishna, but Krishna had to run away from that place because his son was uh, killed by uh, Krishna and uh, Balarama. Before that, they they evacuated the entire city and they ran away. 
because they know they can't take on the jarasandha uncle whatever be the challenge kuch bhi challenge they meet that challenge say for example pandavas during their period of moving around a wax palace was made to escape that wax palace they had already made one tunnel ek tunnel bana ke rakh diya this is how every challenge was met with finding solutions to the problems once ashwatthama wanted to had uh, taken a vow that he will kill all the pandavas because and he after, normally after 6 o'clock the war is uh, actually they suspended till the till, till daylight tashwatthama after sunset tried to search this pandavas and he came to sage agastya because he knew agastya would know where they are and before 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 ashwatthama come, comes him krishna already knew this man will come to him and ask so krishna before ashwatthama has come told agastya that you do one thing i will ask the five, make will make will dig a will dig a hole under under your chair that is we'll dig a hole let the pandavas be there and we will put some slabs and you can sit about that above the slabs agastya was reputed not to tell any lies so agastya said i cannot tell any lies that they are not here krishna what do you want me to do i am i can't say lies so krishna told him how see see how he manages that challenge krishna tells agastya i am not asking you to tell a lie you don't have to tell a lie but you can say one thing that when when ashwatthama comes to you you just have to show your anger and show your anger and shout at the silly question that aswatama is asking and just say that and just show your anger so when aswata kam comes there and uh, asks agastya have you seen the pandavas to so agastya just gets very angry and then stamps on that slab and says who pandavas they are under my foot ashwatthama got afraid are here and see agastya ko gusse mein to koi nobody can stand before him and he went away bola nahi 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 sorry i have come to the wrong place uh, i should not have asked you this question and he went away krishna had told agastya that you don't tell a lie so you just just, just show change the tone of your voice and then just tell pandavas you are asking where are the where are the pandavas they are under my foot and stand the foot hard so meeting challenges is one of them and most importantly one of the most important divine quality is to develop a determination a will to do determination no like the cricketers in their case they are hungry hungry for the runs so he says don't lose hope the the you will not find any god losing hope and that's how when krishna lost hope sorry arjuna lost hope and put the arrows down krishna brought gave him the entire taught him the entire bhagavad gita just to tell him motivate him and make him determined and gave and told him the reason for this war what is the reason for this war it is not you you are doing it is me i am doing so I, this will become a long video of almost 30 minutes i am getting uh, some feedback saying that should not be more than 10 minutes i don't know in 10 minutes what i can say before i open my mouth 10 minutes will be over but that a part i think there are people who are more in, interested in content too they want some content because uh, and i see viewership getting around 60 70 75 views coming in 
so there are some people who would like to know the content and especially bhakti segment has got some lot of attraction in fact i got a feedback saying that for long you have not uh, made another episode in bhakti segment so i i said okay let, let let something come up and then we can correlate it so uh, correlate to that if i talk on some other day the uh, the the significance of vishu will not come but now that just two days next you will understand early in the morning when you see your face you are been asked to tap the divine qualities that will make you from manav to madhav or from pashu to pashupati that is from animal to a master of animal pashupati means a master of animal so you, you have some divine qualities and this is why subconsciously when you when you when you look at the various uh, various uh, stories and other things subconsciously we are looking at the qualities that each and every one had and the and the important part is the entire divine quality is within you the madhav is within you the qualities are within you just like an electrical contractor is wired the house you do, you, you don't have to break the wall and find out where the wires are can you see the wires they are all concealed and uh, in in modern houses no electrical wires are seen outside they are all concealed all concealed wires the only thing that you have is a switch and what is that switch that switch is your mind and what is the intellect it the intellect is the master is is you is a is, you to decide somebody has to switch on the switch to tap that tap into that particular device or particular quality so when you see your face in the mirror think yourself as a house fully wired and you are using your the mind is your switch and you have the power of intellect that will tap that divine power and that intellect itself is a divine himself because the intellect you are not purchase from anywhere you cannot go to the market and purchase intellect we have not purchase this have this have been given to you this have been given to you this have been bestowed on you this is this is this has been wired on you and you have come come wholesale it is on that particular day we see that the importance of not just living but tapping into the divine qualities and seeing the divinity within you so three four qualities i talked about one is fearlessness second is compassion third is meeting challenges and fourth is determination if these four qualities which you are, if you are if you are able to tap or you must tap or you must use no at least don't disuse it if you use it you will see you are a different person altogether irrespective of your circumstances hope you like this video please like so what are the feedback was please give me give us a tip of the day the tip of the day is see yourself and tap into the divine qualities that is available within you with the power of your devotion or you call it intellect especially if not anything if not anything at least develop fearlessness as your main quality because that itself will take care of other other aspects fearlessness is one of the most difficult quality a human being can develop with a knowing that you can you can be fearless you just have to tap the krishna within you so with that i come to the content of this video if you like this video like share subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for further notification and to all my loyal subscribers my request is to place this in your status so that it reaches a wider audience
wish you all a very happy new year happy wish you and may all good things come to you the power is within us thank you very much goodbye take care till we meet again